Aorus Force RTX 2080 Stream Water Force Review. We reached the final part of the review of the Aorus Force registered RTX 2080 Stream Water Force video card, which has been to our liking. It is pleasing to see that this model has surpassed the already veteran Force registered GTX 1080T with a relatively healthy margin. The 1080T can no longer be found on the market, except for some rare case or if it is a used card and the maturing of drivers for the RTX series has benefited in certain games, where the performance of the RTX 2080 was rare. Of the few RTX 2080 models that we have tested, it is the one that has pleased us the most, since the Stream Water Force has a 240mm radiator. Temperatures are low and the radiator change from 120mm GTX 1080T Water Force to 240mm is noticeable. This also leads to a reduction in noise, this is good, something that bothered us to some degree in the GTX 1080T Water Force. Users who live the tropical climate could opt for this model of the review. Aesthetically it looks pretty good, especially if you see it from afar. This video card is best appreciated if it is installed vertically and we would suggest opting for a case where the radiator can be placed laterally. The only painful of this model, will be the price. Putting a water pump, 240mm radiator and two RGB fans raises the cost but it does not become irrational. If you factor the cost of an AIO of 240mm, the more you buy the adapter to install a video card, the price does not sound preposterous. If there is any additional criticism, it goes on the side of the hoses, which appear to be somewhat fragile at first sight. We suggest to be very careful when handling the Aorus Force RTX 2080 Stream Water Force. Pros the GeForce registered RTX 2080 with better performance outside of the factory to date. Up to date, only video card that has worked above 2000 MHz in factory settings without the need for manual overclock. Low temperatures and low noise. Exceptional design that is more appreciated if it is installed vertically. Radiator of 240mm instead of 120mm. RGB customizable to a certain degree. Count up to 4 years of guarantee if one registers through the Gigabyte website. Cons Because one understands the reason for higher cost of product, due to the pump, radiator and RGB fans, the premium price is perceptible compared to a video card with air dissipation. The extra capacity of overclock, seems to be limited, because it comes with quite high frequencies at the factory, 